Hello everyone, um, my name's Bill, uh, I have a YouTube channel, it's uh, a handy redneck, got a whole 10-15 subscribers, uh, yeah, I'm making it big, but um, I wanted to talk about uh, hashtag walk away, and my own personal experiences, um, up until officially this year, I was a Democrat, registered. It started back in grade school for me um, with uh, Michael Dukakis. And remembering back um, how Democratic-leaning individuals at the time told me uh, as a little kid that since I liked Mr. Dukakis and the democratic platform and everything, I should go tell my parents how to vote. Well, no. Um, you know, I've always tried to be a liberally minded individual. Uh, I would rather judge an individual on the individual's case, you know, you know. One person, one opinion. You know, if you're an asshole, you're an asshole. It's just the way it is. Doesn't mean uh, because you're an asshole that your sibling or someone of your ethnic persuasion or religious persuasion or sexual persuasion or gender or anything doesn't mean that they're all the same. You, you know, an asshole's an asshole. A good person's a good person. But anyway, I, I've digressed a little bit. Um, if you look it up, going back to Dukakis, you know, I've been a, a Democrat for a very long time. Uh, but things started to change. Uh, I voted for President Barack Obama uh, on his first term because he said something that I, I still believe uh, yes, we do need more alternate energy. Uh, I don't believe we need it at the expense of uh, the energy sources we've got right now. You know, I don't see it as a direct, uh, well, we get rid of this and we'll bring this up later. No, I think, I think we need to partner uh, our coal and natural gas and uh, oil companies with... Uh, solar and wind energy, you know, uh, we should be able to develop the renewables uh, with the help of the traditional stuff that we've got, you know, we, uh, and by doing that we should be able to transition people from the older uh, coal and oil and natural gas into the newer stuff. But that's my personal opinion. Uh, in, in 2008, uh, I voted for Barack Obama and because of solar energy primarily. There were uh, some other decently premised ideas and Mr. Obama uh, talked a good game. So I voted for him the first time. And then crap fell through and one of the main solar companies that he had backed and he gave 500 million of the American dollars to, uh, turns out they had no processing plant to build solar panels and they, they vanished like a fart in the wind with uh, 500 million of mine and your dollars. Um, you can look it up, uh, Solyndra, S-O-L-Y-N-D-R-A. Um, so, you know, that was his first term. I was in the military at the time, 20 years. Most of the time in, I didn't bother voting. But I voted for, for him the first time and because I believed in change. And... I'd got no change. I got the same old, same old. So the, for his second term, um, 
I voted Mickey Mouse. I literally pinned it in on the uh, ballot, Mickey Mouse. And I said, forget about it, I ain't doing it. And then, it's the election recently, the 2016 election. I didn't vote Hillary, no. Too much baggage with her. You know, I, I live in Arkansas. I grew up in Arkansas. Um, I know the scandals behind the Clintons. Hillary, Bubba. Uh, you know, there's way too much baggage. And it's political baggage, you know. It's, it's the same old, same old. So I wasn't going to vote Hillary. Uh, I did not vote uh, for President Trump. Uh, I will be in 2020, but uh, I did not vote for him at the time because, well, I looked at him and looked at what he was saying and everything, and having been burnt by Obama, who talked a good game, and then did not perform, didn't, did not, did not, did not bring any of the things that he actually campaigned on to fruition. Everyone says the Affordable Care Act, blah, blah, blah. Well... Before it was Obamacare, it was Romney Care. Before it was Romney Care, it was Herman Care. You know, uh, it wasn't even his baby that got passed. You know, and it, when you read into it, there was a lot of bullshit into it. Uh, it. It helped fewer people than it was supposed to. Way fewer people, and it cost the American public more than it should have. But uh, having been burnt by Obama with he talked a good game but he could not follow through, um, I had a hard time convincing myself that uh, then candidate Trump would be anything different. So I didn't vote for Trump. I, I actually uh, voted for third party uh, Gary Johnson. He wasn't making a lot of big promises, you know, he, honestly, he looked like a Carter candidate. From back, you know, he would be a status quo, do nothing, uh, don't shake the boat president. So that's who I voted for. Well, here, here it is, two years into uh, President Trump's first term as president. And about three quarters of his campaign promises, he has, he may not have actually succeeded in getting it done yet, but he has continued to this day to petition and work toward getting those promises fulfilled. And that's what really struck me about this individual. You know, he continues to work to get those campaign promises that he he is standing behind his word he is trying to do what he said he would do and to me that has earned him my eternal respect for making that attempt uh, whether he succeeds or not I don't know but I'm going to vote for him in 2020 to get there and to try to make a difference for the people of the United States. So that's my uh, hashtag walk away. And from a handy redneck, I'll talk at y'all later.